In question 20 we're given two functions, f of x and g of x, which map to two different functions. And we're asked to, in part a to express the composite function g f of x. So when it has it in that order, g f of x, what it means is you need to get f of x, f of x, and you need to put whatever that function of x is into g. So what that means is we need to get this here, and we need to put that into the function of g wherever there's an x. So literally that whole expression will replace x, that whole rep expression will uh, replace x. So what that means is that uh, gf, uh, gf of x, keeping with their uh, sort of notation, maps to... So we end up with, so look at that g function, it's 2x, but now x has to be replaced by that function f, so it's 2x squared plus 1, and that is over 2x squared plus 1, minus 1. So that equals 4x squared plus 2 over 2 x squared plus 1 minus 1 and obviously those two cancel out <clears throat> so therefore g f of x is um, actually one thing you can do everything which has a 2 in you can factorize just to make it 100% correct so then what you end up with is 2 x squared plus 1 over x squared. So that's part A. <clears throat> In part B, we're asked to express the inverse function, g to the minus 1. So let's quickly just look at the g function, 2x over x minus 1. So we've got, oh, stick to the back, 2x over x minus 1. Now in order to work out the inverse of this, what you do is you say that y equals 2x x minus 1 and you rearrange for x. So therefore you get, if you take, if you multiply both sides by the x minus 1, you're going to get y x minus 1 equals 2x. So we have to multiply that out and we'll get yx, or actually strictly speaking, this is correctly, should be xy minus y equals 2x. Now putting all the x's on one side, the y's on one side, what we'll then get is, so if you bring, essentially if you bring the x over here, the y over there, what you're going to end up with is y equals xy oh, that's a terrible y y equals xy minus 2x. Now we're rearranging for x, so what we do now is we factorize those. So y equals x brackets y minus 2 because that allows us to isolate the x we then divide throughout by y minus 2 so that gives us x equals y over y minus 2 that's the expression which is the inverse and all that's left now to do is replace those y's essentially with an x so that means that the inverse is x over x minus 2 so that's just a, a little trick for how you work out the inverse of a function.